When dealing with an open fracture, please refer to your local protocols. In this case, we're going to be looking at a lower leg fracture that's open. Your first consideration is to control the bleeding. I have five by nine dressing that I'll place over the fracture site and I'll apply direct pressure. Once the bleeding has been controlled, you can wrap cling right around the site. You don't want to wrap this too tight so that you cut off circulation. If the bleeding has not been controlled at this point, don't take the dressing off. Just reapply another dressing and more pressure and keep adding on to it. Once this is done, you're going to want to apply the splint. This is going to help control bleeding a little bit more and also make it more comfortable for the patient. When using a splint, use a rigid splint with a soft side. You're going to put the soft side against the patient and you're going to want to find an appropriate size splint that uses the joint above the brake and also the joint below the brake. If available, use one splint on either side. There's many ways you can place the splint on the patient. I'm going to use triangular bandages. You can use tape. When using triangular bandages, make sure that the knot goes actually on the splint itself and not against the patient's skin. You're simply going to use an overhand knot, and I like to double it up because it keeps it from moving once it's been tightened. And then I like to use a square knot. Make sure you place the first one above the joint, the next one above the break itself. and one below the break. It's also imperative that before and after you splint a break that you check for pulse motor and sensory. That can be done by checking the pulse here. Can you feel me touching you? I can. And can you please move your toes?